Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, this is Alexei from Petrov Roofing Company. I just heard back from my supplier. Unfortunately, the estimate I gave you yesterday for the new roof shingles was a little low. The ones you chose are actually $39 per bundle. That's more than what I quoted. So I just wanted to get your approval for this new price before I put in the order. And I recommend that we order soon, since the rainy season's only a month away. Once the rain starts, it'll take more time to install the new roof. Number 71. Where does the speaker work? Number 72. What information was incorrect? Number 73. Why does the speaker recommend placing an order soon? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following talk. Thanks for attending today's seminar for new real estate agents. As people just joining the industry, it's very important that you learn how to create a memorable property advertisement. The way you describe a house or apartment can determine how quickly the property sells. I've invited a guest speaker to discuss this very point. In Suk Lee has recently won our county's Agent of the Year Award, and she attributes her success in large part to the fact that she has mastered the art of writing a great description. In Suk, welcome, and thank you for joining us today. Number 74. Who are the listeners? Number 75. What does the speaker say the listeners should learn to do? Number 76. What does the speaker mention about In Suk Lee? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following broadcast. In local news, town officials are ready to take action on the untimely degradation of some of our town's main roads. Since the Belleville Shopping Mall opened last January, there has been significantly more traffic on the streets leading to the mall. City officials have received numerous complaints from citizens about large cracks and potholes in the roads, which can be damaging to cars. The City Council has invited a few concrete engineers to their next meeting, which will be open to the public. The engineers will share their expertise on the options available for upgrading our roads, and the City Council will vote on a budget for the project. Number 77. What happened last January? Number 78. Why have some citizens complained? Number 79. Who has been invited to attend a city council meeting? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Thank you for coming to this short meeting for all residents of Atrium Apartment Complex. Our power provider, Crudson Energy Company, will be updating the electrical equipment in all units starting next week. This update is to improve the energy efficiency in our buildings. Please be warned that there will be intermittent power failures while work is being done. If you work from home and need alternate space to work during power failures, you're free to use the Apartment Complex Clubhouse. We'll make sure there's power there at all times. Number 80. What is the purpose of an equipment update? Number 81. What are the listeners warned about?
Number 82. What are some listeners encouraged to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following speech. Hello. As your Senior Vice President of Product Development, it has been a privilege leading this team over the past several decades. As you may have heard, I will be ending my time with the company next month. Now, when I shared this news with a few of you individually, there were some concerns about the future of the team under new leadership. Frankly, that surprised me. I mean, look around the room. There are a lot of talented people in this group. In fact, I should take this opportunity to thank you all for our collective success. Number 83. Who is the speaker? Number 84. What is the speaker mainly discussing? Number 85. Why does the speaker say, There are a lot of talented people in this group. Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Ms. Schultz. This is Yuri Fedorov, calling from our downtown store. I was just going over the checklist that you gave us. We've already done most of the things you've asked us to do in preparation for our outdoor sale. But there's a bit of a problem. You wanted us to rope off the parking spaces in front of the shop after we closed today, so we can set up tables there tomorrow morning. Well, it's 8.15, and there are three cars parked there now. Please give me a call back as soon as you can. Number 86. Who is the speaker most likely calling? Number 87. What will take place tomorrow? Number 88. What does the speaker mean when he says, There are three cars parked there now. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following talk. We'll be rolling out some changes starting next week. When customers call the service number, they'll be prompted to say which department they're trying to reach, and then voice recognition software will direct their call automatically. I'm sure most of you have experiences of your own calling customer service hotlines that utilize this kind of system. Usually it works, but it can be frustrating when it doesn't. Some customers might be upset with you if they were unable to reach the right department quickly. If this happens to you, please summarize the exchange in writing. I'll give the feedback to the programmers so they can make improvements to the program accordingly. Number 89. What change does the speaker announce? Number 90. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 91. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following speech. Welcome to the booth for Pandru Technologies. I hope you're enjoying today's trade show. Let me tell you about the software we released last month. It's designed to make your factory's production cycle more efficient. How? Well, as you know, if a machine in an assembly line malfunctions, it can trigger significant downtime. Pandru software continuously gathers and processes data from each machine, so issues can be diagnosed faster. 
Yes, there are other software programs on the market that perform similar tasks, but they're complicated and require hours of training. Consider this about Pondrews. The manual's just 15 pages long. Number 92. What is the speaker promoting? Number 93. What industry do the listeners most likely work in? Number 94. What does the speaker mean when he says, The manual's just 15 pages long. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and office layout. I have an announcement for the team. We'll be making a big purchase, a top-of-the-line 3D printer. We've been outsourcing the work to a printing company, but it recently doubled its prices. We think it's time to have our own in-house printer. The only issue is size. The only space big enough for the new machine is the office next to the reception area. So we'll be rearranging our workspace. Jerome, I'm sorry, but you'll have to move. We hope you won't mind using the office in the corner across from the conference room. Number 95. What is the speaker's company planning to purchase? Number 96. Why has the company decided to make the purchase? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Where will Jerome move to? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and order form. Hi, Amy. This is Paul Baxter from the manufacturing team. Listen, I made a mistake in the order form I left on your desk earlier today. I actually only need 10 pairs of safety goggles for my team on the assembly floor. Hopefully you get this message before you submit the order. Oh, and by the way, when you place the order... Could you add my email address to the notification list so I know when everything's scheduled to arrive? It's paul.baxter at allymanufacturing.com. Thanks. Number 98. Where does the speaker most likely work? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which number does the speaker want to change? Number 100. What information would the speaker like added to a list? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your test book. End of recording. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. Are you looking for a location to host your next company event? Well, look no further than Morelli's. With our delicious food and private dining rooms, Morelli's is the perfect place for everything from small to large business gatherings. But that's not the only reason to choose Morelli's. We're famous for our friendly waitstaff. They are always ready to help. Planning to hold an event with food at your office? No problem. We'll bring the food to you. You can view our catering packages on our website. Number 71. What is most likely being advertised? Number 72. What is the business famous for? Number 
Number 73. What does the speaker say is on a website? Question 74 through 76 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. I have an update about the video game you've been working hard to develop. As you know, we'll be partnering with a video game publishing company to get our product on the market. I just received their initial contract, and I'm pleased to say the terms they are proposing are quite favourable. We're promised a payment as soon as we sign on. Our legal team wants to make sure the programmers are happy before they negotiate some other provisions in the contract. I'll send you the document later. Number 74. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 75. What does the speaker say is favorable about a contract? Number 76. What does the speaker imply when he says, I'll send you the document later. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following tour information. Thank you for joining me on this tour of our solar panel manufacturing plant. Here at Nature's Solar Energy Incorporated, we believe our customers should have the chance to see the production of the solar panels that power their homes and businesses. Before we begin, I want to remind you about our main safety rule. Make sure you wear the hard hats we provided and keep them on at all times. OK, our first stop will be in the showroom. I'll show you the latest models of our solar panels so you understand exactly how they work. Number 77. Where is the tour taking place? Number 78. What does the speaker remind the listeners to do? Number 79. What will the listeners see first on the tour? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following broadcast. Thanks for tuning into Business World. On today's episode, we'll be taking a deep dive into the topic of making a career change. Transitioning to a new industry can be challenging. It's important to highlight any transferable skills you have to offer. What abilities do you currently possess that could be useful in a new role? And how can you promote them on professional networking sites? To help us explore this, So He Chung, Chief Executive Officer of the popular job search app Zantage, is joining us in the studio today. Welcome, So He. Number 80. What is the focus of the episode? Number 81. What does the speaker say is important? Number 82. Who is So He Chung? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Adriana Ortiz, set designer from the Summer Theater. We met last week. Since you're directing the new play we're featuring, I'd like to get together to discuss some ideas I have. I've read the script and started sketching possible backgrounds we could use. You mentioned being concerned about the short amount of time we have for creating a set. Well, we have a large team, and there are lots of props in storage. I'm going out of town to see some relatives tomorrow, but if you're free to meet this weekend, my schedule's flexible then. Number 83. 
What is the message mainly about? Number 84. Why does the speaker say, We have a large team. Number 85. Why is the speaker unable to meet tomorrow? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. Welcome to Cornerway Industries. I'm Sunita Yadav, coordinator of the internship program. I'm sure you'll find your summer experience here rewarding. Before we begin the first training session, we have to take care of some administrative matters. As you entered the room, you received a packet of documents. It includes information about logging into your email and submitting timesheets. I'll briefly go over those procedures now. Then, in an hour, you'll head to the security office to get identification badges. You'll need those to enter and exit the building. Number 86 who most likely are the listeners? Number 87. What did the listeners receive? Number 88. According to the speaker, what will the listeners do in an hour? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Last month, I went to a conference that allowed me the opportunity to meet other small business owners from the region and have discussions with them. A number of helpful ideas were exchanged. For example, several speakers pointed out that it can be difficult for customers to navigate corporate websites especially when looking for information like a phone number they can call when they need service. I've asked the IT department to redesign our website to make it more navigable. If you look up here, I'll demonstrate the new layout that'll go live in a few weeks. Number 89. What did the speaker do last month? Number 90. What do some customers have trouble locating? Number 91. What will the speaker do next? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following speech. Thank you all for coming to this town hall meeting. I'm the Mayor of Madison, and the first topic on our agenda is tourism. We're all very excited that the documentary about our historic town centre, which was filmed here last year, is a box office success. My office has already received hundreds of inquiries from travel agencies around the world asking about hotel capacity and tour buses. Good news for local businesses. However, some people are wondering about the damage that the influx of tourists on their streets may cause. And they do have a point. Those roads weren't designed for traffic. Number 92. Who is the speaker? Number 93. What happened last year in Madison? Number 94. Why does the speaker say, Those roads weren't designed for traffic. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and store layout. Attention book lovers! The Regal Reader Bookstore is excited to announce the beginning of its summer author series. Join us this Friday when renowned author Karima Samir will visit the store to read from her books.
sign copies, and chat with customers. Stop by our history aisle to find her latest book about fascinating North Africa. And make sure you enter our annual drawing while you're here to win a $5 gift card for our cafe. Use it to purchase any of our freshly brewed coffees or homemade pastries. Number 95. According to the speaker, what will happen this Friday? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which aisle does the speaker direct the listeners to? Number 97. What can the listeners win? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and notice. Hello, Ms. Kapoor. My name's Mark Giordano. I'm a forklift operator in the shipping department. I'm calling because I'm supposed to complete the training session on refueling equipment, but I need to change my date. I signed up for the session on January 23rd, but our department just received notice that a large order will ship out at the end of the month. I'll have a lot of work to do earlier in the day all month, so I can only attend the session that starts at 3 p.m. Could you reschedule me? Please let me know. Number 98. Where does the speaker most likely work? Number 99. What will the speaker's department be doing at the end of the month? Number 100. Look at the graphic. Which session does the man request to attend? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your test book. End of recording. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. Welcome to the Masami Tea House in Kyoto, Japan. The tea house was built in the late 1700s and originally served as a private club for prestigious members of society. As you can see on this map, the complex includes a large dining area, kitchen, ceremonial rooms, garden, and even sleeping quarters for guests. Moreover, the tea house was also used for numerous special occasions, including weddings, political gatherings, and receptions for members of the royal family. It now functions as a popular tourist site. Number 71. What facility does the tea house include? Number 72. What is mentioned about the tea house? Number 73. According to the speaker, what is the tea house now used as? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following advertisement. Whether you are decorating a reception hall or looking for a simple gift, Green Solutions has the perfect floral arrangement for you. That's because we are one of Edinburgh's largest floral shops. In fact, we have over 3,000 square meters of showroom space full of beautiful plants and vases. To view our huge selection of pre-made arrangements, come to our store at 341 Vincent Street. Customers who mention this advertisement to one of our cashiers will qualify for a 5% discount on any purchase. Number 74. What kind of business is being advertised? Number 75. According to the speaker, 
Why should listeners visit Green Solutions? Number 76. How can listeners receive a price reduction? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Eric Krauss from Timberlake Flea Market. I'm calling for Teresa McCartney, who I met with last Tuesday. We received over 50 applications for the vendor stall that will soon be available, so it wasn't easy to decide who to pick. However, I really liked your paintings, and I think having a painter around would attract a new set of shoppers. Now, the booth that was advertised is currently occupied, but it will be vacant in three weeks. In the meantime, we need to get your signature on the rental agreement. I'll be in the office from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow, so stop by any time. Number 77. What did the speaker do last Tuesday? Number 78. What does the speaker mean when he says, Having a painter around would attract a new set of shoppers. Number 79. What does the speaker encourage the listener to do? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following news report. In other news, transportation officials in Austin have temporarily halted construction of the Swift Rail commuter train system. The interruption comes amid criticism from a group of local citizens. Residents from the Kingfield neighborhood are claiming that rail lines are being built too close to their homes. Mary Stenos, the head of the Transportation Department, held a press conference on Wednesday regarding the matter. She stated that residents' complaints were being taken seriously and that work on the swift rail would be stopped until the issue is resolved. She also said that updates will continue to be posted at www.swiftrail.gov to keep the public informed on the progress of construction. Number 80. What does the speaker mention about the commuter train system? Number 81. What did Mary Stenos do on Wednesday? Number 82. According to the speaker, why should listeners visit the website? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following advertisement. If you are looking to hire trained security personnel to protect your home or business, contact ACE Solutions today. We can provide access to over 10,000 trained guards throughout the country who are available for employment on a permanent or short-term basis. All of the individuals we represent undergo a rigorous screening process to confirm their work experience, educational history and professional certification. This means that you do not have to worry about searching for qualified applicants. In addition, if you sign up for a membership before April 2nd, you will receive 50% off your first month of service. Don't miss out on this great opportunity. Please feel free to call our customer service hotline for more information. Number 83. What is being advertised? Number 84. What service does A Solutions provide? Number 85. What does the speaker recommend that the listeners do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following excerpt from a talk. 
I'd like to thank Littleton Books for inviting me here this evening, and I'm also grateful to everyone in the audience for showing up. Today, I'll be sharing several excerpts from my latest book, Tiger in the Night. This work is an autobiography based on my experiences in a South African town, including my troubled teenage years and my struggles in becoming a published writer. If you like what you hear, the book is currently 10% off. Copies have been placed in the back of the room. Number 86. Where most likely are the listeners? Number 87. What is the speaker's newest work about? Number 88. Why does the speaker say? Copies have been placed in the back of the room. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following speech. I am honored to be here on behalf of Lee Fan Industries at this year's Consumer Electronics Show. Lee Fan Industries was founded over 25 years ago as a supplier of plastic parts to television manufacturers. Over time, however, we have produced increasingly high-tech products. Today, Lee Fan has exclusive contracts to produce LED screens and chipsets for major corporations such as Silver Star, Vivica, and PTF. What's more, I'm pleased to announce that Lee Fan Industries will begin producing consumer electronics under its own brand next year. If you'll all turn your attention to the screen here, I'll give you a glimpse of some of the products that we plan to launch in January. Number 89. Where are the listeners? Number 90. What do some companies contract LeafOn to do? Number 91. What most likely will happen next? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message. Good morning, Mr. Parker. This is Akita Kang from Goldman & Associates. I'm interested in having you audition for a movie that my agency has been hired to do the casting for. I was going to speak to your agent about this, but she is apparently on vacation until next month. So I decided to contact you directly. Anyway, it is a supporting role in a romantic comedy. I know, most of your parts have been in action movies. But it's a great opportunity to expand your resume and try something new. You have several days to make a decision. I'll send you a preliminary copy of the screenplay to look over. Let me know what you think. Number 92. Why is an agent unable to be reached? Number 93. What does the speaker mean when she says, Most of your parts have been in action movies. Number 94. What will the speaker provide to the listener? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and floor plan. Thank you all so much for joining our annual job fair. Your participation will be especially appreciated by our students. Many of them have experienced problems finding companies interested in hiring recent college graduates during this recession. We're happy to welcome many new corporate partners this year, including our sponsor, Global Education. Just one quick note. There has been a switch in the room assignments. We originally planned to have representatives from engineering companies in Hall B, but more of these types of firms sent workers than expected, so we've decided to let them use the larger space next door. OK, feel free to set up your display booths. You have an hour before people start arriving. Number 95. Who most likely is the speaker addressing?
Number 96. What is mentioned about global education? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Where will engineering staff be located? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and receipt. Good afternoon. This is Beverly Gilder. I stayed at the, um, Presidential Palace for the first time when I was in Manila last week. While I enjoyed the experience, I've run into a problem. I didn't closely examine my bill upon checkout, and I just noticed an error. I was charged for laundry services that I did not use. I would like you to review your billing records, refund me the amount in question, and email me a corrected bill. This needs to be done as soon as possible, because I have to turn in my final expense report on Friday. Thank you. Number 98. What did the speaker fail to do? Number 99. Look at the graphic. How much will the speaker probably be refunded? Number 100. What will the speaker most likely do on Friday? Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Welcome to the annual South Hill Library Book Fair. Each autumn, we host a variety of special activities to encourage reading among local residents. In addition to offering a vast variety of both new and used books for sale, we are pleased to present a special event this year, an exhibition of rare first edition books by early American authors. These publications are on loan from the University of Minneapolis and will be displayed in the lobby for the duration of the fair. And I would like to thank this year's corporate sponsor, Camdale Enterprises, for their financial support. Number 71. Where most likely are the listeners? Number 72. What does the speaker say will take place? Number 73. Why does the speaker thank Camdale Enterprises? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following radio broadcast. You're listening to WRP 99.9. The 20th Annual Harrisburg Fireworks Fest is set to take place on Saturday evening. It will be held on the north end of Keaton Lake. The celebration, which has been made possible through funding by the municipal government, will feature an hour-long fireworks show. The city's hotel and restaurant industry are looking forward to the event, as thousands of people are expected to travel to Harrisburg over the weekend. Now stay tuned for details about road congestion throughout the metro area. Number 74 what does the speaker say about the municipal government? Number 75. What does the speaker imply when he says, Thousands of people are expected to travel to Harrisburg over the weekend. Number 76. What will listeners probably hear next? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Before we explore the Chakra Wildlife Park, I want you to listen closely to the following instructions and information. First, food is not permitted inside the park. 
Second, photographs are allowed, but please do not use a flash because the light scares the animals. Third, do not exit the shuttle at any time during the tour. As a reminder, there will be an hour lunch break at the Jungle Cafe after we're done touring the African Wildlife Compound. Once everyone has finished eating, we will resume the tour by continuing on to our Asian Wildlife Compound. Okay, if you please follow me, we will begin our tour. Number 77. Why are camera flashes prohibited? Number 78. What does the speaker tell listeners to do? Number 79. According to the speaker, what can listeners do after seeing the African wildlife compound? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following advertisement. Are you looking for something fun to do this weekend? Then stop by Plaza Mall to celebrate the grand opening of our new food hall on Saturday, April 14th. Located beside our indoor playground on the fifth floor, the food hall includes 17 restaurants serving a variety of dishes from all over the world. Still not sure if you should stop by? Singer Jacob Keeve will be on site this Saturday. He will be signing copies of his latest album on the ground floor. Visit our website for details about this event. Number 80. What will open on April 14th? Number 81. According to the speaker, what is located on the fifth floor? Number 82. Why does the speaker say? Singer Jacob Keeve will be on site this Saturday. Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Catherine. This is James Hartman from the editorial office. The Human Resources Department just notified me that they've approved your leave request. However, your article on extreme sports activities must be finished before you complete your shift on Friday. This is very important, as the piece is going to be included in next month's magazine edition. Also, your team member, Joanne Ma, is going to take over responsibility for your other work while you're away. So please share any notes or unfinished versions of next month's story that you have with her. Feel free to drop by my office if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll talk again when you return. Number 83. According to the speaker, what did the listener do? Number 84. What must be completed by the end of the week? Number 85. What is the listener told to give a colleague? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the opening day of Keller University's Scientific Lecture Series. We have invited a variety of scientific experts from the fields of biology, chemistry and physics to elaborate on their most current studies and findings. I am sure you will find all four of today's talks very educational. I encourage everyone to pick up programs for today's event at the information booth near the main entrance. Also, we request that you wait until the conclusion of each lecture to ask questions. Each speaker will have an opportunity to address inquiries following his or her talk. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the event. 
Number 86. What is taking place? Number 87. What is mentioned about the event? Number 88. What does the speaker recommend listeners do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Ms. Cooper. This is Trevor from Fairfield International Bookings returning your call about a last minute flight to Paris tomorrow. Scheduling a morning flight is going to be hard, but There's a departure at 1 p.m. You'd have a three hour layover in Brussels and eventually reach your destination at 11 p.m. I'll be available throughout the day, so call me back at your convenience to let me know if that will work for you. Thank you. Number 89. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 90. Why does the speaker say, There's a departure at 1 p.m.? Number 91. What does the speaker want the listener to do? Questions 92 through 94. Refer to the following television broadcast. Good morning. I'm Sandra Choi with Channel 11 News. On Saturday, August 3rd, an organization called Our Natural Resources will be holding a five kilometer run in Chicago. The goal of the event is to raise funds for the maintenance of public parks around the city. Organizers expect thousands of people to participate in the race and hope to generate nearly $1 million. Online registration for the run will remain open until August 1st, so there are still three weeks to sign up. Financial contributions are also being accepted from those who cannot attend the event but would like to offer support. Number 92. What has been planned for August 3rd? Number 93. What can listeners do online? Number 94. According to the speaker, what are people able to do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following recorded message. And staff directory. Thank you for calling Fanley Technologies. To learn more about our home entertainment systems, please visit our website at www.fanleytech.com, where you will find product descriptions, manuals, and warranty information. If you know the extension of the person to whom you wish to speak, you may dial it at any time. To speak to one of our product management team, Please dial 1099. To speak to a member of our corporate sales team, please dial 1220. To speak to someone in our accounting department about billing or payments, please dial 1330. For general inquiries, press 0 to be connected to the next available operator. If you are calling after business hours, please stay on the line to record a message. Thank you. Number 95. According to the speaker, what is available online? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Who is on the corporate sales team? Number 97. According to the speaker, why should listeners stay on the line?
Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following report and consumer ratings. Now for our morning business update on WKSR Talk Radio. Oregon-based car manufacturer Aster attracted attention over the weekend when a letter it sent to shareholders was leaked to the press. The letter primarily addressed the company's ongoing financial struggles. But that's not all. In addition to detailing persistent quarterly losses, Aster CEO Giselle Bram outlined the company's plan for the future. To the surprise of many, the most poorly reviewed hatchback model is expected to be dropped from production this summer. Although Aster has yet to publicly respond to inquiries regarding the matter, experts who are familiar with the company believe the reports are likely to be true. Number 98. According to the speaker, what was discussed in a letter? Number 99. What is mentioned about Giselle Bram? Number 100. Look at the graphic. Which model is going to be eliminated? Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, I recently ordered a pair of reading glasses from your website. I chose blue frames, but when the package arrived, the glasses had black frames instead. I'm going to send these back to you now to be exchanged for the correct colour. But I wanted to ask how long it'll take for the blue pair to arrive. The original shipment took about three weeks, and I'd like to get the replacement sooner. My number's 555-0156. Thanks. Number 71. What kind of product did the speaker order? Number 72. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 73. What does the speaker ask about? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. Good afternoon, everyone. As you know, it's time to announce our newest Employee of the Month. And it goes to Haru Watanabe. Congratulations! Haru did outstanding work this month securing the Thompson Limited account. He also volunteers in the community. As our winner, Haru will receive a preferred parking space right outside the building for the next 30 days. Haru, please come up here to have your picture taken. Like all our employees of the month, your photo will be featured on the company website. Number 74. What award is being announced? Number 75. According to the speaker, what will the winner receive? Number 76. What does the speaker say will be published on a website? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following introduction. Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeep Gupta. We're excited to have so many new people working at our bicycle stores. During the week, you will learn how to repair bicycles and scooters for our customers. Before we begin your training, I'm going to show you around this model facility, which has been built to simulate the repair shop in the back of every one of our stores. Oh, a couple of you asked about your schedule this week. I'll be overseeing your work, and I come in at 8. Number 77. What kind of product does the speaker's company sell? Number 78. 
Number 78. What will the listeners do next? Number 79. What does the speaker mean when he says, I come in at 8. Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. A new report shows that customers prefer sustainable packaging in the products they buy. In order to expand our customer base, we've decided to look into using biodegradable packaging for the personal care products we make. Just last month, we hired a packaging consultant to develop environmentally friendly packaging for our products. Now we need to set up a committee to oversee the project. If you're interested in participating, contact your manager by the end of the week. Number 80. What does the speaker mainly discuss? Number 81. What did the company do last month? Number 82. What should interested listeners do? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following speech. Thank you all for attending the 30th Annual Dental Healthcare Conference. We have six sessions planned on the latest advances in tooth restoration. As a reminder, if you'd like to receive continuing education credit for attending the conference, you'll have to complete additional paperwork. Some of you may want to hear more details about that. I'll be at the booth in the lobby until noon. And finally, just a reminder that you are all invited to attend a dinner reception tonight starting right after the last presentation session. Number 83 who most likely are the listeners? Number 84. Why does the speaker say, I'll be at the booth in the lobby until noon? Number 85. What does the speaker say will happen tonight? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following broadcast. Welcome to this episode of our radio show, Research Now. On every show, we talk to a different scientist about their work. Today's guest is Gita Prasad. She's a scientist at Macmillan Shoe Manufacturers. Her job is to research how people move their feet when they exercise. She then provides that data to the design team who use it to design new shoes. In fact, her team is looking for participants to take part in their next study. To sign up, visit Macmillan Shoe Manufacturer's website. Number 86. What is Gita Prasad's profession? Number 87. According to the speaker, what are some data used for? Number 88. Why should the listeners visit a website? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Thanks for attending this management meeting. As you know, despite our strategy of positioning ourselves as a seller of high-quality furniture, we've been losing business to several second-hand stores selling used furniture in the area. There's one thing that we can start doing that many other furniture stores aren't, offering free assembly. By developing cross-functional delivery teams, we'll be able to gain a competitive edge. 
So next month, all of our delivery teams will attend sessions where they'll learn how to assemble our products in customers' homes. Number 89. Where do the listeners most likely work? Number 90. According to the speaker, what has caused a problem? Number 91. What will happen next month? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following speech. Hello everyone, thanks for coming to this press conference. On behalf of the City of Somerville, I want to sincerely apologize to all community members affected by this week's train delays. My department has received reports of delays averaging an hour at peak periods. It has become clear that the ongoing track and wire repair work has become far too disruptive for city commuters. With this week's unacceptable delays in mind, my department, the City Transportation Office, is negotiating with the contractor, National Rail. That's the company that owns the tracks and runs the trains for Somerville. To be clear, the tracks and trains are not city property. OK, now I can take some questions. Number 92. Where is the speech being given? Number 93. Why does the speaker apologize? Number 94. What does the speaker mean when she says, The tracks and trains are not city property. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and hairstyles. Hi Susan, it's Maria. You asked me to suggest a new hairstyle for your appointment tomorrow. I'd recommend something cut all the way up to your chin. I think that a style like this would give you a very professional look. I'll show you the picture from my hairstyle catalog when you come in. If you'd like me to blow-dry your hair during your appointment, that's included in the price. Oh, and by the way, yesterday we got a shipment in of the Hydro 5 hair moisturizer that always sells out. I know you like to use it, so I thought you might want to know. Number 95. Look at the graphic. Which hairstyle does the speaker recommend? Number 96. What does the speaker say is included in the price? Number 97. What does the speaker say happened yesterday? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and chart. Our first topic is an update on the data analytics software we installed last week to identify problems with our plastic molding machines. As I'm sure you're aware, we've missed our production targets for the last two quarters. That means we're spending too much time assembling our products. As you can see on this chart, the data show that one of our machines is running a very slow production cycle at an average of 6 minutes 22 seconds per cycle. We've already flagged it for repair by a technician. By next week, that machine should be at normal output. We're very optimistic about the impact the new analytic software will have on next quarter's targets. Number 98. According to the speaker, what did the company do last week? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which machine will a technician look at?
Number 100. What does the company hope to do next quarter? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your test book. End of recording. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. Join us at the Suarez Performing Arts Center for a one-evening performance by world-renowned violinist Wan Chul Shin. Mr. Shin will perform an evening of classical pieces and modern works accompanied by the San Bernardo Symphony Orchestra. Recordings of Mr. Shin's music will be available for purchase after the concert. Doors for the concert open at 7.20 p.m. tomorrow, April 9th. For tickets and reservations, please call the box office at 555-7219. Don't miss out on your chance to see Wan Chul Shin performing live. Make your reservations today. Number 71. Who is Wan Chul Shin? Number 72. What will be available at the event? Number 73. Why would listeners call the provided telephone number? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following talk. Good morning and welcome to this seminar on European clothing trends. I will be your lecturer today. My name is Caroline Legrand and I head the design department at Tyler Sharp Apparel. I am delighted to see such a large turnout here today as I will be discussing a very interesting topic that affects everyone within the fashion industry. All of you were handed a copy of today's program, which outlines everything that will take place. The lecture should last about two hours and take us right into lunch at noon. Then the afternoon session will get underway at one o'clock. For that segment, another fashion designer, Liv Holbein, will give a slideshow presentation. OK, now let's begin. Number 74. Where does the talk most likely take place? Number 75. What were given to the listeners? Number 76. What will the participants do in the afternoon? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Hello everyone. This morning marks the first time the Northfield Planetarium has been accessible to the public following renovations and improvements. Upon entering the building, you'll be pleased to see that the majority of its sections have been completely redone. Our main exhibit hall, for instance, now features a variety of educational displays that you can interact with through touchscreen technology. To commemorate this special day, astronomer and local professor Shane Donner is going to talk a bit about the findings from his recent study on star formation. Although the talk was supposed to begin five minutes ago, Mr. Donner is just finishing up some preparations. So you all are free to check out the exhibit across the hall until further notice. Number 77. What is the announcement mainly about? Number 78. According to the speaker, what topic did a recent study cover? Number 79. Why does the speaker say, Mr. Donner is just finishing up some preparations? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. I have a quick announcement. 
After receiving a few complaints, I had a technician look at our old shredder this morning. It appears that there is a serious problem with its cutting blades, and it is effectively stopped working. I know this is a major inconvenience for you all. However, I've contacted Meller Supplies, and a delivery will be made this week. If you need to shred anything in the meantime, just use the one in the accounting department's office on the third floor. Staff there have been notified that some of you may make use of the machine. All right, that's all for now. Number 80. What did a technician do this morning? Number 81. What does the speaker say? A delivery will be made this week. Number 82. What does the speaker suggest doing? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Tyrone Dyson calling from the city of Dallas's Department of Parks and Recreation. I received your message yesterday about possibly reserving the main room at the Pointer Park Community Center for a gathering on Saturday, September 2nd. Unfortunately, another group has already booked the space for that specific date you requested. However, I've contacted Dallas's other community center near Gleason Park and was informed that they do have a space available at that time. If you are interested in booking that room, let me know. You can check out details and photos of the space by visiting www.dallasrecreation.gov. Thanks and have a great day. Number 83. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 84. According to the speaker, what does the listener want to do? Number 85. Why might the listener visit a website? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. My name is Samir Nasser, and I'm a consultant and motivational speaker. I've been invited here by your employer to speak about how developing strong communication skills can improve your work life. As telemarketers for a software company, your ability to communicate with customers is obviously an essential part of your job. It enables you to express your thoughts clearly and concisely, which will, in turn, improve clients' confidence in you. But communication skills are not only important when it comes to increasing sales, they're also crucial for fostering healthy work relationships. In fact, the number one cause of workplace conflict is poor communication. To help prevent such issues, I'd like us all to participate in some activities together aimed at strengthening interactions between colleagues. Number 86. What most likely do the listeners do for work? Number 87. According to the speaker, why are communication skills important? Number 88. What does the speaker ask listeners to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following news report. My name is Anita Busby and you're tuned in to Channel 9 News. Today's top story is on Williamton Citizen of the Year Award. This year's recipient is Maud Evans, owner of Gately Automotive Dealership right here in Williamton. Miss Evans has been selected for the award 
in recognition of her charitable work in the Williamton community. Over the previous six months, she has devoted much of her personal time to collecting donations for Memorial Hospital, a local healthcare facility. Moreover, Miss Evans is also raising money in hopes of helping to establish the city's first performing arts centre. The award will be presented to Miss Evans on September 22nd at a dinner hosted by the Williamton City Council. The event will be attended by community leaders and city government officials. Number 89. What is the main topic of the news report? Number 90. What is mentioned about Maud Evans? Number 91. According to the speaker, who will attend a gathering? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message. Sally, it's Richard Holston. We need to find a location for our department's Christmas party. This morning I called Golden China, the restaurant we discussed yesterday, but the manager said that 30 seats are not available on that day. They could host us if we broke up into smaller groups, but that's not really a good option. It'd be great if you could call the new place that opened on Jefferson Street, Jacob's Steakhouse. I heard they have a private party room. I'd contact the place myself, but I'm headed to the airport now. With the event coming up in only three weeks, we need to make a reservation as soon as possible. Number 92. What did the speaker do this morning? Number 93. What does the speaker mean when he says, I'm headed to the airport now. Number 94. According to the speaker, when will the company's event take place? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and illustration. I'd like to share the latest updates regarding our fast food restaurant. For starters, we recently hired celebrity chef Dawn Rava to team up with our corporate chefs in order to improve our existing menu. As a result of the partnership, we've decided to offer preset food combinations to customers. Each one will feature a burger and a side dish. Of course, people can mix and match the burger styles and side options. For instance, they can change the barbecue burger and onion rings pairing to a barbecue burger and garden salad. Another important announcement is that we plan to redesign our logo. A replacement will be unveiled in July. Number 95. What was Dawn Rather hired to do? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which meal combo does the speaker refer to? Number 97. What does the speaker say will happen in July? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following broadcast and schedule. Welcome to Entertainment News. The organizer of the annual Calgary Music Festival has announced an interesting addition to the lineup of daily headliners. The press release from Lisa Gomez, who is in charge of booking acts, stated that international superstar DJ James Money will join his former partner Carl Slocum for the first time in over a decade at the festival. This is very exciting news for local music lovers. Viewers interested in attending should purchase tickets soon as they are likely to sell out quickly.
A pass for the entire festival costs $49, while tickets for individual concerts cost $30. And remember, half of the proceeds will be donated to a local orphanage, so you will be supporting a worthy cause while enjoying some great music. Number 98. Who most likely is Lisa Gomez? Number 99. Look at the graphic. When will DJ James Money perform? Number 100. According to the speaker, what will half of the money raised by ticket sales be used for? Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Jamie Foster at Phoenix Merchandising. This message is for Ms. Helen Rowan. I need to inform you that the specific model of VelociClean vacuum cleaner that you ordered is out of stock. However, we do have something similar called the Wade & Platinum. It is lightweight and removes more dirt from carpets than other models. Because of its design, it's easy to control and move around any indoor space. And since we were unable to fulfill your original request, we can offer you free delivery if you purchase the Wayden product. If you're interested, you should visit our shop, and I'll show the vacuum to you. Number 71. What is the purpose of the message? Number 72. According to the speaker, what is a benefit of the weight in platinum? Number 73. What does the speaker recommend? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following advertisement. Are you interested in giving your workout a boost? Then try Power Source, the brand new enhanced drink from Pure Athletics. Power Source is infused with various essential vitamins that will give you the extra energy you require during your favorite physical activity. And now, check out our special online promotion. If you fill out a short survey on our website, you will receive a coupon for a free bottle of our newest power source flavor, Berry Mix. But this offer is only good until supplies run out, so act now. This won't last for long. Number 74. What kind of product is being advertised? Number 75. What does the speaker mention about power source? Number 76. What does the speaker mean when he says, This won't last for long. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following telephone message. Good evening, Miss Jameson. This is Richard Powell calling from Smithson and Howard. As you already know, we are supposed to get together at your office this afternoon to review design plans that my firm has created for your new home. However, an emergency meeting has come up, which I must go to at 1 p.m., Consequently, I can't visit you today, but will be sending a colleague of mine, Lori Fielding, to take my place. She's familiar with the plans for the house. I apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your understanding. Number 77. Where does Mr. Powell most likely work? Number 78. What must the speaker do in the afternoon?
Number 79. Why does the speaker say she's familiar with the plans for the house? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following broadcast. This is Patrick West reporting live for WRRE Eyewitness News. I'm here at West Wellington Park, and we've got warmer than usual temperatures, a nice breeze, and clear skies again on the last day of the annual Cherry Festival. So come on down. There's something for everyone. Kids will enjoy the exciting rides and games. Parents will appreciate the musical and cultural shows, and both will love the delicious food being served by the many booths set up here. The festival will end tonight after the 8 p.m. Mississippi Mounds concert. I'll be joined by the event organizer after a short commercial break, so be sure to stay tuned. Number 80. What is the broadcast mainly about? Number 81. What does the speaker say parents will enjoy? Number 82. According to the speaker, what will happen at 8 p.m.? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following instructions. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to have you all here at the Culinary House. Today, you will be learning how to make homemade pizza. This will be the first of three dishes that you're going to make. I've already set printed booklets on the counters containing all of the recipes that you'll need this morning. Please take them out and open up to the recipe on the second page. Before you start cooking this meal, however, you all need to break up into pairs. Since there aren't enough utensils for each student, everyone will have to find someone else to work with. Number 83. What does the speaker say listeners will do? Number 84. What has the speaker placed on the counters for listeners? Number 85. Why do listeners need a partner? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Zach. My name is Alison Peng, and I'm calling from Creative Prime Agency. I've contacted several galleries in the Richmond area about your work and heard back from Electric Space downtown. The curator from that gallery expressed great interest in the contemporary paintings you created and said she'd be delighted to exhibit them there in October. I know you use oversized canvases for your work and... Electric space has tall ceilings and a large back entrance. So please let me know your thoughts on the opportunity as soon as you can. Number 86. Who most likely is the listener? Number 87. What does the speaker imply when she says... Electric space has tall ceilings and a large back entrance. Number 88. What does the speaker instruct the listener to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. May I have your attention, please? An inspector from the Federal Department of Safety will be visiting our plant next Friday, the 12th. I just want to remind you all of a few things. First, because the inspector will examine each work area, 
you all must ensure that our safety equipment is in good condition. Following this meeting, I will hand out lists of things to check. Please fill these out and hand them in to your supervisor by the end of the day. Also, there will be a short meeting at 3 o'clock for all departmental managers. Since the conference room has been reserved already, we'll gather in my office. At that time, we will go over the entire schedule of events for the day the inspector visits our facility. Okay, that's all for now. Number 89. Who does the speaker say is coming to visit? Number 90. Where will the managerial meeting take place? Number 91. According to the speaker, what will be discussed during the meeting? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following speech. Today marks an important development for both Hanaway Industries and Glaris Technologies. Now that our two companies have combined to form Hanaway and Glaris Incorporated, we are the largest information technology firm in Europe. By consolidating our resources, we have positioned ourselves to serve clients more successfully than ever. This will surely be a benefit to our customers and the industry as a whole. However, we have a lot of work to do before we become fully operational. To that effect, employees from both of the formerly separate companies must continue to establish effective communication with each other in order to improve efficiency. That will be our primary focus over the next two months. Number 92. What is the speaker mainly discussing? Number 93. What does the speaker mention about Hanaway and Glarus Incorporated? Number 94. According to the speaker, what will happen over the next two months? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and invoice. Hello, Mr. Mead. This is Matthew from Belleville Interiors. I want to let you know that we'll be able to put up the wallpaper in your new office next week on March 29th rather than April 3rd, as one of our current projects will end earlier than expected. You wanted us to start as soon as possible, so I assume this plan is acceptable, but, um... Please call me back to let me know for sure. One more thing. I double-checked the measurements of your office, and it will actually take 11 rolls of wallpaper to cover the walls. I'll update the original invoice and send you a new copy this afternoon. The only change will be the additional charge of $38, plus tax, of course. Number 95. What is the purpose of the message? Number 96. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Which quantity on the invoice has to be updated? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following talk and graph. After reviewing last quarter's financial reports, the CEO has decided that we need to reduce expenditures across the board. He asked that all employees come up with ways to cut their department's expenses. So it's our responsibility to reduce spending in the marketing department. This is a priority, so you should postpone your other projects if necessary. There isn't much we can do about the expense that accounts for the greatest share of our operating budget, 
But I guess we could try to reduce the next largest item by 20%. I have prepared an overview of our department's monthly expenditures to help you with this task. Um, I'll hand it out to everyone in a minute. Number 98. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which expense will most likely be reduced? Number 100. What will happen next?